Hi everyone, I'm back today with another makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing this blue and purple eyeshadow makeup look. It's really fun for a great night out and it is pretty dramatic as well. I hope you enjoy. To start off with I'm going to be clipping my hair back and then as always I'm going to be priming my face with, with Clarins Beauty Flash Balm and this is the most amazing way of prepping your skin for makeup and I just dot it on my face and then press it into my skin don't rub, just press it all in and once you've done that you are ready to start applying your makeup today I'm going to be starting off by prepping my eyelids with Max Prep and Prime highlighter pen in the shade Light Boost I'm just going to be starting with my eyelids for now because we're going to be using some sparkly eyeshadow and I don't want any fallout. So I'm going to be applying that to my eyelids and then blending it all in with a damp beauty blender to prep my eyes for the eyeshadow. Then I'm going to be using this Elizabeth Arden 8 Beautiful Color Eyeshadows Palette. It's amazing. I got it from their Christmas uh, blockbuster set last year. I'm going to be going in with the color Satin Tan and it is just a neutral color. If you've got a nude shade, you can use any nude shade. I know that Max Orb is an amazing one, I often use that, but this is just what I chose today. Brush from Battle House Beauty to blend that just in the crease. Next I'm going in with these two purple shades, they are matte purple shades from Revlon and they are the individual eyeshadows that link together. I'm also going to be applying those exactly where I put the matte brown shade just to add a little bit more depth. This is really going to create a dramatic effect once we start going in with the blue. For the blue shade I'm going to be using Max Dazzle Shadow in the shade Try Me On. Now this I mentioned in my MAC haul video. To be applying this I'm going to be using a technique where I'm taking a flat brush and I'm spraying it with MAC Fix Plus just so that there's a little bit of a, a dense moisture on the brush and then I'm going to be applying the eyeshadow just on the lid up until the crease and not above the crease. And what this effect does is it gives the shadow a foiled effect so it's a lot stronger it's a lot more metallic and this gives your makeup look a lot of drama it's absolutely beautiful now to avoid any harsh lines i'm going back in with the absolute rose matte brown shade and just going back in the crease with that then I'm going back in with the color Sterling from the Elizabeth Arden Palace and this I'm going to apply just on the ball of my eyelid and this really really makes this look pop. It really makes it so beautiful and so sparkly and it attracts everybody's attention to your eyes as opposed to anywhere else on your face. I'm also using the same flat dampened shadow brush that I was using with the Dazzle shadow. To prep my lips I'm going to be using Elizabeth Arden's 8 hour cream and this is the intensive lip repair balm which I absolutely love because it kind of makes your lips tingle a little bit after you've applied them. I don't know if it's a pump, plumpening um, extract that they've got in there or something but it really feels nourishing. For another new product that you've never seen on my channel this is the Beauty Fix Radiant Makeup Finishing Spray and it's got rose water and aloe vera in it which is absolutely great for the skin and I'm not using it as a finishing spray here, I'm more using it as a hydrating spray. I'm spraying it on my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki brush. It's going to share out my foundation a little bit more than had my brush been dry and I really like how this looks especially now in summer when you want more hydration in your skin. Actually, that's ridiculous. I just want hydration in my skin all year round. For foundation, I'm using the Elizabeth Arden Flawless Finish Perfectly Satin 24 Hour Foundation. And this is the shade Sun Beige. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm doing what I pretty much do every single day. And I'm using MAC Shadow in Mystery. It's a satin eyeshadow. And I apply this with a flat brush. On my eyebrows, um, I apply it a little bit heavier at the wing of my eyebrow or the end of my eyebrow and then a little bit softer on the tail. For concealer I'm using, can you guess it's 
Max Prolong Wear Concealer and this is the shade NW15. I absolutely love it. It gives you such a flawless finish to your skin and people are always asking me what foundation I use but I think what they're actually seeing is the concealer and the consistency of the concealer. So anyway I'm applying that under my eyes in downward triangles, applying it on my nose, my forehead and my chin and I'm blending that in with a beauty blender. And sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. I think she's a little bit hungry. Next I'm going in with Bobbi Brown's bronzer in the shade Bahama. It's number 7. And we all love bronzer, right? It's the best way to warm up your face. You just look so much healthier once you've applied some bronzer. And I know some of my friends just go to town on applying bronzer. They absolutely love it that much. So anyway, I'm applying this from my ear to my lips in that diagonal line and then I'm taking it along my hairline as well. But I'm leaving the center of my forehead blank. I don't want too much there because it tends to make my face a bit smaller than I want it to. And I like having the various colors in my skin so I'm quite happy leaving that blank. Next I'm going in with something I'm super excited about. This is the Dior palette and this is the Dior Skin Forever Compact with SPF 25 and it is the color 010. I am completely obsessed with this product. I have never had such a finely milled setting powder in all my life and the fact that it's got SPF in it as well is just incredible. Cannot get enough of it. Go out and try it. I know it's expensive. Just do it. For blush, I'm going to be using Bobbi Brown's shade called Rose Blush. It is the most beautiful English rose shade. I've used it a couple times on my channel. It's really that pretty, pretty pink that every girl is always looking for. It looks great on all skin colors. All skin types, it's just beautiful. So I'm applying that on the apples of my cheeks and then I'm going to be going in with a highlighter. And for my highlighter, I'm using my good old faithful and I'm very upset I've hit pan on it. I'm using Soft and Gentle, it's a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm applying it with a tapered a blending brush and I just like how that looks. I've been doing that a lot lately. Then I'm going to be doing my eyeliner. Uh, my eyeliner, okay, this is going to be overboard and you might think this is ridiculous, but I'm using the MAC Retro Black Fluid Line Pen and I'm also using MAC's gel. It's called Black Track and it's also a fluid line. And I'm using the pen in the gel. So I'm getting both an ink and a gel formulation on the pen. And I just love the shape of the pen and the consistency of the gel with the pen. Completely overboard, you don't need to do this of course. So I'm giving myself a little bit of a wing there. Sorry if that mirror is irritating you a little bit. I was sitting so far from a mirror that I needed something. So that's just how I was rolling. Then going back in with the Elizabeth Arden palette, I am using the shade Nude Shimmer and this I'm going to be using as a highlighting shade on my brow bone and I'm also going to be applying it on my inner tear duct. By applying eyeshadow to highlight your inner tear duct, they actually separate your eye and make them look brighter. So I highly recommend doing this. Then going back in with a smaller tapered brush, I'm going to be using the matte shadow from the Absolute Rose palette and just blending that in along my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to be applying mascara as well. This mascara is my all-time favorite. If you ever catch me using anything else, how will I have frozen over because the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara has been my favorite mascara since maybe I was about 17 years old and I cannot get enough of it. Then I'm going in with a new lip gloss formulation from MAC. This is the Huggable Glass Lip Gloss and it is so glossy. It's dramatically glossy. The reflection of it is 
absolutely amazing. And this one is called Embrace Me. It is a really nude pink. It's almost transparent. So it's just very, very glossy. To finish off this look, I'm going to be using the Alila Fix That Makeup Smudge Proof Makeup Formulation. It's a finishing spray, really. It's like hairspray for your face, and it fixes your makeup for the entire day. You do not need to touch up if you've used this. I'm so impressed by this product. I cannot get enough. And that's that for this makeup look. I really hope that you like it. And if you do, please leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you a couple tips and tricks on how to keep your teeth looking super white. I get asked a lot about my teeth and um, I've just got a couple things that you can do at home to keep your teeth looking white. So 